Hi everybody, it's Susan of Inner Creative Voice. I wanted to talk to you today about actually sitting down and getting to your work. Making sure that your creative work is a priority for you every day, every month, every week, every year. How do you get that to happen? How do you bring that into your life? And over the course of the last few weeks, I've talked to you about different ways to um, create your own space, to look at the things you love, to create a schedule, really getting into place all of the things that you need to have to make your creative work possible, to make that happen for you, and to make sure that the flexibility is within you and your life so that that can happen. Because what's happening for me right now is job changes, shifting in everything, children growing and changing, Everything is upheaving and different, and I have to be able to keep my common, important pieces of my creative life in some kind of order, not rigid, but very flexible, but it's got to be there for me. And I'm assuming if you're watching these videos, it's got to be there for you too. So I just took a minute to think about, well, what are the things that I make sure that I do every day, every week, every month? every six months, every year, to really keep those creative pieces going. And I started to notice there's little chunks, there's a small piece, the next bigger piece that puts those small pieces together, and then the bigger piece, the bigger chunk that puts in all the little pieces, all of the medium pieces, and then the big pieces. So what I noticed is every day, for me personally, and I think that this can be followed by everyone, no matter what it is you do or what your life is like, every day I make sure between five and 15 minutes, that's it. Between five and 15 minutes, I either paint, turn on music and dance around, write in my journal, create in some way that brings me joy, that lifts me up, that leads to those pieces and those bigger pieces of what I wanna do with my life. So for instance, I wrote um, different pieces of music every day. I'd come and write little ditties, little melodies every day. I did my creative captures most recently, and that one seems to be growing into other things. So basically taking a picture every day and then painting off of that picture every day. And so whatever it is for you, what can you do every day between five and 15 minutes that lifts you up, that's your, cre it's part of your creative work. It leads towards those pieces that will be your bigger creative um, journey and adventure. So every day, five to 15 minutes. And then when I take a look at two or three times a week, I block out, oh, between 30 minutes and sometimes up to an hour. Never more than 90 minutes, because there's usually not time for that. But about 30 minutes, I make sure that I sit down or stand up and move, however it's going to be for you. But that 30 minutes is my time to kind of pull together those creative pieces making sure that if I've done 15 journal entries, I go back and look through those and start to pull those together into what are those going to become? Maybe you sew or maybe you, um, you would like to work out, you know, whatever it is that you find is your creative endeavor, your cooking. So you've got the things you do every day. What is it that you would sit down two or three times a week and really come up with something that could be almost start to finish, you know, reading through all your journal pages and then noticing what's within those journal pages or piecing together. Um, I know a friend of mine's doing uh, crocheting, piecing together those bits of crochet. How is that starting to come together? Are you starting to look at the bigger picture of where your little creative acts are leading? And then I make sure that once a week I have time, two to three hours for me. It may be you know, spread out for time for you. You're going to have to figure out what works best, but two to three hours a week, I have to sit down and my consistent piece is to, I've created a newsletter that most of you are on. And in that newsletter, I have articles. And so all of my writing gets put together and then finalized. And I need a big chunk of time to really sit down, write those articles out, put them together. And that takes a big chunk of time. So again, every day, five to 15 minutes, what is the creative thing that you wanna be doing? Two or three times a week, 20 to 30 minutes of something that pulls together those creative acts. What is that thing for you? How can you sit down and make sure that you do that every week? And then um, 
throughout the month how do you pull all those pieces together and for you you know it, it could go in different ways for me it's once a month for you it might be more spread out because your family's at different stages you're at different stages you'll have to decide that for yourself but really making sure that you do the little pieces every day fill in some time for bigger chunks every week and within the month, making sure that each week within that month, something is happening to pull those pieces together for you. You're actually sitting down and doing the work that you want to do. Put that into your schedule and let me know how it goes. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.